So in the middle of my research about Lotus cars for, or possible selection into my car aisles picks list, I discovered a new Lotus car, Lotus of War, 2010 Lotus of War. So I contacted my great resource, the British Racing Group. They put me in contact with Premier Lotus in Brantford, Connecticut. Picked up a Lotus of War to check it out and see you know, what it's all about, you know, see what all, all the hype is all about and see if the car is in keeping with the Colin Chapman you know, philosophy of lightweight performance and handling. A little concerned it would be a little bit too heavy. Anyway, I went up there to Brantford, Connecticut. It's like a two-hour drive. I had to go to New York City, pick up my photographer, Stephen Alman. I spoke to the guys over at Premier Lotus about the Lotus Evora. So we're going to take a look at the video that we shot at Premier Lotus in Brantford, Connecticut. And now let's take a drive to Brantford, Connecticut to Premier Lotus to talk to them about the Lotus Evora. It's definitely a step up in terms of visually it's got a nice exhaust note too. Alright, so let's see how she handles. Something in that exhaust note that reminds me of of driving the uh, the Murcielago Roadster. This is this is a very very refined car. It's it's throttle response is very smooth. The suspension feels very smooth. I'm very comfortable in this car. Nice. This is absolutely a car that, you know, if you're interested in getting a Lotus car but you couldn't deal with the way the cars are so small and the lack of luxury, you just couldn't put, you know, you couldn't deal with it, then the Evora is absolutely the car you get. And I gotta say, I've been getting a lot of compliments on the Lotus Evora. A lot of car enthusiasts have said that this car looks pretty good and I agree with them. So I think if you had any idea that you might want a Lotus car but you were on the fence because you saw the Lotus Exige in the lease and how difficult it is to get in those cars and how small it is and the lack of luxury you need to take a look at the Lotus Evora. You definitely need to take a look at the Lotus Evora because this may be the car for you. This may be the car th that, that does it for you finally, that you can get into a Lotus car and enjoy the entire experience. I mean, all the Lotus cars are absolutely fun to drive. The handling and performance is excellent on all the Lotus cars, but because of the lightweight minimalistic approach, you're missing a little bit of the luxury in the car. And also with the smaller engines, they don't sound as good. This car sounds great. And this car feels great. I was a little bit concerned about the weight taking away from things, but you know what? I'm not so much concerned about the weight anymore. I think with the, the, the beefier engine that they have in this car, it's still a very, uh, it's a, a very exciting and thrilling driving experience. So good job, Lotus. And again, if you're thinking about Lotus car, take a look at the Evora. If the Exige and the Elise were too small for you, take a look at this car. Absolutely take a look at this car.